Coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Illinois residents went to the polls yesterday for a consolidated election. Many Illinois communities were voting for mayor. And you can see full results over on WTHITV.com. Happening now, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb is directing flags in the state to be flown at half staff. That's in honor of Congressman Alcee Hastings of Florida. Flags should be flown at half staff from now until sunset this evening. Indiana's mask mandate is now a mask advisory. Vigo County deciding to go along with the state. Park County also announcing on its Facebook page that they're following the governor's advisory. And we talked with the Greene County Health Department. And they say as long as the county remains in the blue code category and has low to moderate spread, they'll also follow the governor's advisory. Greene County will host mass vaccination clinics this Friday and Saturday. Both will be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the fairgrounds. Registration is not required. And also this weekend, the Vigo County Health Department will hold a vaccine clinic. It's the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine that will be offered. The clinic will be held on Saturday at the Vigo County Clinic, which is behind Regional Hospital. Hours are 9 to 6. You must be at least 18 years old to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and you'll need an appointment. Schedule one at OurShot.IN.gov. In Illinois, the Newton Care Center is allowing families to visit their loved ones. There are currently no cases of COVID-19 in the facility and 98% of residents are fully vaccinated. The search for suspects in a Monday night shooting continues in Vincennes. Police say it happened during a fight Monday night around 9 o'clock. The police department received, or I should say released, new pictures and video. They're trying to find three male suspects, and officers believe they are traveling in a Silver Crown Victoria. Call the Vincennes Police Department with any information you may have. And a man is behind bars this morning after police say he hurt his infant son. Terre Haute Police arrested 22-year-old Quentin Joseph. Police say Joseph's son was seven weeks old at the time. The investigation began last October. Joseph is charged with domestic battery resulting in serious bodily injury, neglect of a dependent resulting in serious bodily injury, and strangulation. A solar farm could be on the way to Vigo County. Last night, Duke Energy Renewables presented the Hoosier Jack Solar Project. It would locate on 900 acres of land in Vigo County and would help provide energy to about 35,000 homes. There will be more discussion about the proposed plan at next week's Vigo County Council meeting. If approved, construction would begin in 2023 with operations starting in 2024. Temperatures are going to rise to the upper 70s by the end of the afternoon. We're going to see a chance of showers throughout most of the day, but most of these are going to be very light and hit or miss. So just keep that in mind. If you have to be outside, you could run into a chance of rain. Tonight, we're in the upper 50s. Showers continue through the overnight, and we are going to see the chance of rain continue through early morning tomorrow. This is going to be more organized, heavy rain as we move through the early morning tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid-60s, and again, cooler air takes over for the next several days after these rain showers pass through. And we're going to see temperatures in a lower place than they have been in the last couple of days. Even Friday, our warm day, we're mostly sunny, but we're, we're going to be in the mid to lower 70s rather than close to the 80 degree line like we were yesterday. And then Saturday, another chance of rain. All right, Brady, thank you very much. And thank you for joining us for News 10 this morning. We hope to see you at News 10 at midday at noon Eastern. For the most local news, every newscast, every day, you can depend on News 10. Coverage you can count on. Labor